I'm sharing five interesting ways to build your confidence in today's video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Our lessons in elegance continue today as we discuss how to build confidence. I have some unconventional tips for you. Hero Cosmetics have brought us today's video and they have Allure's Best in Beauty Acne Spot Treatment. And so I'm going to talk about them in tip number two. If you suffer from acne or if you have a teenager or someone you know who suffers from acne, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to today's sponsor. But let's talk now about building confidence. How can we build confidence in ourselves? Even if you are a really confident person, there might be areas in your life where you could definitely gain more confidence, okay? So this is something I've worked on a lot my adult life. I've done a lot of public speaking. I gave a TEDx talk and I've, I've met crowds of people at book signings. So having confidence is something that you definitely need to build in the profession that I'm in. But it could also aid you in everyday life as well. So let's jump right in to tip number one, which is to film yourself. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. Jennifer, I am not a YouTuber. I don't wanna be an actress. Why am I going to film myself? <laughs> well, filming yourself is an incredible tool to build confidence because you learn so much about yourself when you film yourself. Trust me on this, okay? So when you film yourself, you learn how other people see you. And in your mind, you might think that they see you one way, but you might not notice a few things that you do that other people can see, like the way you carry your body or the way you talk or different mannerisms you have. You might say certain words over and over again, like like, or in my case, you know, I always say you know. <laughs> so you're gonna learn about how you speak, how you carry yourself. You're gonna learn about your posture. We're gonna talk a bit about that more later. So I recommend that you get out your phone. Don't do it once, do it a few times. Get out your phone and talk into the camera. You could read something or you could just talk. Don't worry, nobody ever has to see this. You can delete it as soon as you're done. <laughs> I'm not saying to post it online. But what I'm saying is that I want you to film yourself and observe yourself. You need to know how others see you. This is going to help build your confidence because you will be able to identify the areas that you need to improve upon. Now, some people might be afraid to do this because you just don't wanna know. You don't wanna know what you look like. You don't wanna know what you sound like but you really do need to confront these things. So when I was in high school, I was so afraid of public speaking. If I had to get up in front of the class, I would shake literally with fear. And I knew that I had to confront this because I thought this is not going to be good my whole life if I'm afraid to speak in front of people. So I enrolled in a drama class. And that's what I mean by confronting your fear. So just film yourself, okay? It could be in your bedroom, wherever you want and have a look at it. And I want you to do this a few times. Push back against the embarrassment you might feel from doing this and see what you can learn from the situation. Okay, tip number two is going to be delivered to you from La Jolla, California, where we recently had our family reunion. Check out this amazing fireplace. Tip number two on how to build confidence is to polish your appearance. So everyone knows that when you look good, you feel good. You just naturally feel more confident. I have a plethora of videos on how to look good, on the 10 item wardrobe, on beauty tips. I even have a video that I did recently on how to look good from behind. So <laughs> I've got you covered in the content category here. So the overall appearance is of course to be taken into consideration. Everything from your hair, to how you dress, to your shoes, to just how you look overall and there's so many different areas to focus on with regard to that. It's really coming up with a whole look that you feel comfortable with, that is you and you truly and beautifully expressed. Now, when it comes to your appearance, I would say that the biggest level of confidence building can be found when you have clear skin because your skin is you. I mean, that is you. When you go outside and you're talking to someone, the sun is shining on your skin. And I know a lot of people, especially myself, I get focused on my skin and how does my skin look? Is my makeup blended well? Do I have any blemishes or pimples? You know, we tend to worry about that type of thing. But those of you who have read my first book, Lessons from Madame Chic, will recall the story where I was in Paris and I had a big pimple 
right here on my nose, okay? And I think I was trying to get rid of the pimple. It was, it started off small, but I squeezed it, which is something that I now know to never ever do, but I squeezed it and it became so much bigger, it was awful. And that was the day when I had my art history class and I was speaking to my art history professor who was a lover of beauty and he, <laughs> I'd forgotten about the pimple and when I was talking to him it's like he was just looking at my nose and it brought it all to life again. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I understand the struggle with acne and how it can lessen your confidence. Here is where Hero Cosmetics comes in. They brought us today's video and so they have something called the Mighty Patch. Okay, The Mighty Patch was Allure Magazine's Best in Beauty for acne spot treatments. I get a lot of people asking me about acne treatment recommendations, and this comes with my highest recommendation. So Hero Cosmetics is a company who believe in super-powered skincare for all. Their star product is the Mighty Patch, which, as I mentioned, won the coveted Allure Magazine Best of Beauty Award for Best Acne Spot Treatment. Oh, how I wish I had this patch back then when I was in Paris, because instead of squeezing my pimple and making it worse, I would have just put the patch on overnight. So the Mighty Patch is the best way to extract your blemishes, particularly your whiteheads. It naturally extracts the pimple without hurting your skin. So you place the patch on your skin overnight, and when you wake up, you peel it off and the magic has occurred. The Mighty Patch uses the highest quality hydrocolloid and is extra sticky. It visibly sucks out what needs to come out and it won't irritate your sensitive skin. It's 100% safe, FDA approved, and it's super affordable. They also have other products like this lightning wand that fades dark spots in days. It's a serum pen that uses vitamin C, transexamic acid, and niacinamide to gently brighten scars. So you can get 15% off site-wide plus free shipping on orders over $35 when you use my link and code down below. So thank you so much to Hero Cosmetics for bringing us today's video. My thing that I like the most about the acne patch is that it's clear you can barely see it. So back in the day I would put like those white creams on my acne and it's just so embarrassing to walk around the house like that. But this is literally a clear patch that goes on and you hardly notice it. So it's really wonderful when you lift it up, the pimple goes away. It's great. Okay, now back to the reality of everyday life. I'm back home. But anyway, thanks Uncle Steve and Aunt Deb for renting such a beautiful house for our family reunion. Tip number three is to brush up on your etiquette skills. So I am the author of Polish Your Poise with Madame Chic, and I recommend you read my whole Madame Chic series because it goes through a lot of this self-improvement and how we can really bring out the chicest aspect of ourselves. But Polish Your Poise with Madame Chic really focuses on the importance of poise, etiquette, and manners, and why these things are important. So the reason why you should brush up on your etiquette skills is because when you know the proper etiquette in any situation, whether it be from a greeting, to communication, to table manners, you are able to focus more on the present moment and the people you are with, rather than wondering if you're doing something correctly or not. So this is really true for table manners. If you are going to an important dinner, let's say it's for work, or you're meeting new people, or you're on a date, or you're meeting someone's family for the first time, you want to have impeccable manners. Whether or not it's true, or whether or not we like this or not, when you display proper manners, it communicates things to people. It shares with people that you were well-raised, that you are well-educated, that you care about the finer things in life, the finesses in life. And honestly, that opens doors for you. And it all builds on your confidence. So brush up on your etiquette skills, take an etiquette course, or read an etiquette book. Of course, there's the Madame Chic books. I also highly recommend my friend Micah Meyer's books on etiquette. I will leave all of these resources for you down below. But brush up on your etiquette skills, especially the areas where you're just not sure what to do, and practice and this will build your confidence in everyday life. Tip number four to build your confidence is to correct your posture. Okay, posture is huge because we communicate immediately to people through our body language. And oftentimes when we are stressed or when we are dealing with um, an unpleasant situation or we are nervous or we lack confidence, the first place it shows up is in our posture. And I bring this up on the channel a lot 
but you must constantly be thinking about it until good posture becomes a way of life and poor posture becomes uncomfortable for you. So this is directly related to the first two tips. Number one, you're filming yourself. You're trying to see what you are like. You might not notice that your shoulders are naturally rounded and that you naturally hunch over all the time, okay? <laughs> you might be horrified by it, but that's good to be horrified. It's time to now correct that. And you can see the difference uh, with the B-roll that I'm showing you here with what I look like when I have bad posture versus what I look like when I have good posture. Your appearance improves immediately and you exude a certain confidence. So particularly in stressful situations where you want to be confident, notice your posture and try to release the tension that you might have in clenching your shoulders forward and making yourself small. There are lots of tips on posture in Polish Your Poise with Madame Chic. And finally, I have saved the best tip for last, and I'm not kidding when I tell you that this tip could completely change your life. Tip number five on how to build confidence is to act as if it were impossible to fail. I'm going to say that again. I want you to act as if it were impossible to fail. So recently I read a vintage book by Dorothea Brand called Wake Up and Live, and it's a very interesting book, but this is the key takeaway from the book. The author suggests that we should act as if it were impossible to fail, okay? Because truly, if you believe that everything is working for your greater good, it is impossible to fail. But I want you to think about it like this. Uh, Terry Savile Foy, she's another YouTuber here, I heard her say this. Pretend you walk into a movie, a suspenseful action movie, right? And you watch the last 15 minutes of the movie. You know how it ends. Then you go back in and you watch the movie from the beginning in the next showing. You are not going to be on your seat, biting your nails, wondering if the hero of the movie is going to conquer everything and overcome, right? You know the ending and you know that it's favorable so you can relax throughout the movie. It's kind of the same thing. I want you to act as if it were impossible for you to fail. So if you're going into a job interview or you're asking somebody out on a date or you're going to write a book or you're going to uh, speak to people at work or you're going to implement a new parenting strategy, whatever it is, act as if it were impossible to fail. Now, this is not to say that you should be cocky and arrogant and, you know, be detached from reality. That's not what I'm saying. But if you think about adopting this mindset, you can't help but have a completely different energy, a natural air of confidence. It's not a forced, desperate confidence. It's an energy that you can't quite put your finger on. It's that je ne sais quoi that you see from successful people. They already know that they've succeeded. They just have that air of indifferent confidence about them, and that's what we want to adopt. So we should remember this in everyday life, but especially for situations that really matter to us. Act as if it were impossible for you to fail. Now, I truly believe this anyway, because I believe if I don't get something that I want, that something better is in store for me around the bend. I really do believe that. I believe God works all things for good. So use this tip to transform your life and transform your confidence. Okay, so let's recap. Tip number one was to film yourself. Push back the uncomfortableness you might have and get yourself in front of the camera. Tip number two is to polish your appearance. When you look good, you feel good, and therefore you will naturally be more confident. Tip number three is to brush up on your etiquette skills so you can remain fully in the present moment and not worry about whether you're doing things correctly or not. Tip number four is to correct your posture. Always be aware of how you're carrying your body because our visual cues are the first ones that people pick up on. And tip number five is to act as if it were impossible for you to fail because guess what? It is. <laughs> and I am cheering you on every step of the way. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you to Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring it. Don't forget to use my link and code below and you can get 15% off site-wide plus free shipping on orders of $35 or more. Thanks for watching today. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!